Hey sister, it's really really nice to meet ya. Channeling my inner Estelle for this video guys. It's been a month officially since I have washed my hair and this video is going to be broken up into two parts, okay? So first part, I kind of want to show you what I'm doing because this wash day is going to have an extra step now that I'm only washing my hair once a month. And then the second part is probably going to be after I deep condition and then me twisting my hair because we're going to have a story time. I am telling the story of how when I was 17, um, I was a victim to Dana Chanel's little scam that she's been running and has affected so many other business owners and I was one of them at such a young age and so I want to do a little story time about that so that's going to be part two but this first part I'm going to show you for the very first time I'm going to be um, it's called a pre-poo so there's a lot of different steps that you can take during your wash day right and so pre-poo it's if you want to include all of them I think pre-poo, shampoo, condition, deep conditioner and then styling so um i don't do all those steps every single time i only pick and choose what i need to do so you can always custom create your own little wash day routine so because it's been so long since i have washed my hair and detangled my hair i have not detangled my hair fully in a month so i know that my hair is probably a lot more tangled than it normally is so i want to do a little pre-poo Normally with the pre-poo, you will use a product. Um, I didn't feel like using deep conditioner twice because I'm going to shampoo and then deep condition. And by the way, last week we made a fenugreek, um, it was a fenugreek shampoo and we're going to use that today. It was a DIY. So if you haven't watched that video and you want to see what that's about, you know, go check that out. For this, we are going to do four sections. My roots are my problem area. And so that's the part of my hair that I know is the most tangled. If you have not been keeping up with my journey, I have kept my hair in twist for a full month and I have not been manipulating my hair as often as I usually do. Before this, my wash day was about every week or every 10 days. So this is new for me. And the reason that I wanted to do this was to kind of take massive action and retain as much length as I could so that I could be at waist length before the end of the year. So when you pre-poo, you normally want to use a product because um, it's going to be easier for you to detangle. But I just kind of want to run my fingers through my hair like this and loosen up any knots. Before I shampoo, I'm not doing like an official full pre-poo, but that is an option that you have. And this is going to help you with detangling and reducing breakage. But I don't know if this is going to work because my hair is so tangled. You can see um, it probably needs water or some kind of product. The last thing you want to do is spend a month being so good and keeping your hair out of your way and not causing breakage just for you to cause a whole bunch of breakage on wash day and reset yourself. So um, I don't know if this is a smart idea. But I'm not being aggressive, I'm not being over manipulative, I'm just gently seeing if I can loosen any knots. But I don't think I'm going to continue this. Yeah, no. No, no, no. <laughs> this, this, this calls for water and product. So, I did one um, cleanse. You can see there's still shampoo in my hair. Look at my curls though! stop my hair is so defined my hair from a shampoo this is this is crazy my hair has never been this defined from a shampoo wow that's amazing but so this is the shampoo that we made about a week ago so let's see it's a lot thinner than i would have liked it to but that's completely my fault i was supposed to keep testing it and mixing it and adding the guar gum as necessary but i just thought it would be thicker overnight and it wasn't but that's fine so it's a little thin see like a watery consistency see that really pretty now i will say the first um cleanse I feel like the lather wasn't the best but after i rinsed that out and i'm doing the double cleanse now the lather is so good like i like this a lot and because of my definition i feel like with a few tweaks this could be something we add to the store i wouldn't sell this as it is right now just because i would like it to be a, the best lather it can be on the first rinse and not have you have to like double cleanse in order to for it to work the way that it should but we're definitely on track we're definitely going places like this we're, go we're going places so normally i shampoo my hair all at once under the sink with my head flipped over so this is a little different i'm gonna try not to make a mess i'm already making a mess but yeah so basically just gonna focus on the roots but also 
cleanse my hair because your hair gets dirty too. I don't know why I said that like that. But yeah, so this shampoo is the one with the fenugreek water that we soaked overnight. A little ASMR moment. And look how it's yellow still. It kept that nice... I don't know if that's from the fenugreek or from the hemp seed oil. Um, but it has a really nice pretty color to it. And then if you guys are interested in doing your own formulations... So this, the slip isn't bad. You can see that like I'm able to detangle my hair a little bit. It's not the best. Um, but if you did want to add slip to a product, there are some alcohols that are safe. I don't know how to pronounce this one. It's the BTM, BTMS, Behetrimonium Methyl Sulfate. Um, there's sterile alcohol, subtle alcohol, um, the blend of the two. I'll include all these on the screen. And those are thickening agents and conditioning agents, which will give you a little bit of slip. You don't need too much because if you add too much, it's going to make the product too thick and it's going to be like a cream shampoo. But yeah, that would add the conditioning effect and then you wouldn't need the polysorbate in order to mix the oil in the water because that would also help the oil in the water mix. But then if you add a conditioning agent like that, it won't have, probably won't have the color to it. It'll be kind of more white. Um, so yeah, that's a pro tip. But this is not bad. Got a little knot here. Got a little knot. Ooh. See, this is why sometimes I don't be retaining length because my I'm I'm working on myself. I'm a new person. I would have just ripped that apart a month ago, but now we're gonna gently glide. We're gonna work on the knots. So as you can see, the shampoo is defining my curls. It looks so good. This is a little bit of shampoo here. And this is the, the texture consistency. It's very thin. This is also a water-based shampoo. And I personally detangle my hair during the deep conditioning. For a formula that I just made up on the spot, I can kind of, I'm pretty good at doing like general rough drafts because I formulated so many products at this point. So I can kind of have an idea of what's going to work and then I can test it and then just make the tweaks to it. So this I feel like is a really good foundation, a really good base, but I wouldn't sell this because it's just not perfect. It's not where it needs to be for me to take your money and deliver this to you. So it's where it needs to be if you want something quick that you can make at home and this you can build off of. But for me to put this on my website, mm -mm. It's good, but it's not excellent, and that's what the standard needs to be for all my products. It goes through a really rigorous testing period and process where I test it on all my family members. My sister has a different hair type than I do. My brother has a different hair type than I do. My mom has a different hair type than I do. So, you know, when we when I put something on my website, chef's kiss. So for deep conditioner, we are going to be using Capri's deep conditioner. I like this deep conditioner for detangling because it just makes it so much easier for me and my sister's hair loves this deep conditioner this is a lot of hair i feel like not only did i retain length but my hair just became like thicker or something <laughs> like i didn't i didn't realize i had this much hair there was a, a point in time where i liked to you know try to detangle my whole head at once and i thought i was superwoman and i thought it was faster it's not so what i like to do is four sections see this is on my roots but you can't see my scalp it's like never ending now i like to do four sections i divide those four sections into two more sections mainly just the two front sections of my hair but because it's been so long we'll see if i need to do that for the back as well we can see scalp a little bit now i can feel my scalp this deep conditioner is not too thick it's nice and creamy it melts into my hair and now you can see i'm able to detangle got a little knot down here if you have a stubborn knot that you come across you can always add more product to it and that should help the knot kind of loosen up and make it easier for you to like pull apart gently though. And what I like to do is apply the deep conditioner right into my roots, let it melt in there so that when I'm going there with my fingers it's not so hard and you know you could use a brush to detangle your hair. I find that using my fingers works just fine i have used a brush all my life and i recently just stopped using it because i kept forgetting all my supplies downstairs i'm sorry i'm not looking at you guys eye contact is important i always kept forgetting my supplies downstairs like i just forgot my scrunchie downstairs and so that's how i stopped using a brush because i would never remember to bring it up here this the situation right here okay let's see 
and see what we got oh see it just see everything works better in isolation you isolate the knot you create a smaller section it just melts right away can't wait to see how much of this is actually just shedding that's like masking itself as a knot but while i have you guys here let's let's have a little chit chat so i've been reading comments not on my channel but just on the internet and i've come across like i don't want to say crazy because i don't want to be insensitive but just ludicrous <laughs> use a synonym for crazy instead just unusual or things that i had no idea you know people thought about natural hair so for example you know people that thought that only african americans could grow long hair and there's africans that are saying that they didn't know it was possible for them to retain length and grow hair which one just makes me really sad because you know i would look at that definition hello everything i touch just everything i formulate everything i make it's gonna have the definition look at that um, it just would make me so sad if someone like thought that they couldn't enjoy or, or couldn't fulfill their dreams of having long hair if that's a dream that you have because that's a dream that I had since I was you know in fifth grade that's how my natural hair journey really started or when I became aware of natural hair and natural hair health and stuff like that that's when I got into it was fifth grade because I saw all the other girls in my class with long hair and I'm like why isn't my hair long too and, and since my hair is not long how do I achieve this? And so this journey I'm on of retaining length is really personal because this is literally a dream. Like, I wish I could call my how old is I in fifth grade 11 year old self and say, girl, like we did it. Like you are half an inch away from being waist length. And above that, we made it past shoulder length. We made it past bra strap length. Like we we did it. That starts young. And I would feel really sad if someone else felt like they couldn't grow long hair because they're african and so that's part of the reason why i make videos like this this looks like one big patch of just knot like this right here is just one big knot what i'm gonna do this is where i feel like the knot is and maybe right here too i'm gonna tangle what i can or maybe it's not am i just dramatic because <laughs> why is it so easy to detangle now Maybe I'm just dramatic. No, it's right here. You guys see that, right? You guys see that. This. I separate like this one small piece at a time and detangle it. That way I'm isolating the knot, making the section smaller. And this is where it is right here. See this? We can get to the root of the problem. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is how you detangle gently get to the root of the problem what i think happened it's been a month that's a long time your hair now we got it oh freedom um your hair sheds 50 to 100 strands a day so what i think has happened is that like the hair is falling and because i wasn't detangling the hair is getting stuck like right in the middle of my head and so you know now i have to deal with that but it's not too bad look now it all moves nice nice so separate a little bit at a time with products preferably capri's deep conditioner because it's just so nice so moisturizing and that's it it doesn't have to be an all-day thing this took 10 minutes and mainly because i'm talking to you guys if i wasn't talking to you guys i would just be focused look at this and showing you guys stuff see so i say this all from that section for a month i'm shocked that means I'm, my hair is not shedding as much as it once used to which is a great thing it means we're, we're we're getting somewhere right so that big huge knot you guys just saw me detangle detangled we did that we did that this is a star of the show we did that this can do anything okay so now we have this and i low-key felt like in the back of my hair i was getting like mini locks because I feel like my roots were tangling so bad. See how this just glides through? Even the roots. Yeah, so I'm definitely gonna break this into two sections just because the roots are a little knotted or matted. And I'm gonna put the product right directly in the roots. And look at that. Look at that. What once was impossible has now been made possible. <laughs> 
Thanks to Capri's deep conditioner. I'm going to do the rest off camera just because I feel like I told y'all everything I need to tell y'all about this deep conditioner and about the deep conditioning process. I'm going to leave this in for about 25 minutes. I say 25 minutes and then I start watching my show while I'm deep conditioning and then it's about an hour. Ideally, I would like to leave this in for just 25 minutes. So pray for me to have discipline. <laughs> So this is the, probably going to be the end of this video, but in part two, when I tell you about the things that Dana Chanel did to me, it's like, how do you sleep? And she didn't just do this to me. That's the thing. She did it to multiple people. It's like, how do you sleep at night? And then using God as like a marketing tactic and like, are you not sleeping? Like, so yeah, I just don't get it. But yeah, I'm going to leave this in for 25 minutes and then that'll be a wrap. I'm going to rinse it out. And so part two of this video is going to be posted very quickly. Um, it shouldn't be more than a day or two. So make sure you subscribe, stay tuned, and I will see you guys in part two for story time. Make sure you bring your popcorn, get you a glass of wine, get you some water, whatever you need to do. But I'm bringing all the tea. See you guys later.